oh, there's going to be this, you know, 70,000 square foot art center. Well, that's not necessarily true. That was sort of just as the components that were suggested. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I wasn't on those committees, but that each, you know, each group, we need this, we need this, we need this. So the size of it got really big, but we all know in reality that's not going to happen. And so that's where the schematic design and, and whatnot comes in. And so once we get to that uh, point in the design and in the process, then I feel like the, then it will go to the, uh, the public comment, but we'll have more educated information to give to the public. So we're going to open it out. Mayor, I haven't yeah. been able to put a, a copy of article at this point because we don't have a, a layout and, and right. information from the developer and from the architects to be able to present to the community. So right now it's just kind of all hearsay and until we can get that, right. which is coming up next week. So, so I guess I'm, I'm going to just kind of ask for a, a, a kind of a, just an informal vote on whether or not we go forward with um, basically the presentation that we were given tonight. Do we take it to the next step? So I'm going to say all in favor, raise your hand. Well, can I ask a question first? I'm sorry. Um, is the Art Center going to be a nonprofit group, or is it going to be run as an interlocal? It, you know what? I think that it would be run by a professional company. That I don't know the details to. Well, and it would not be a nonprofit. Uh, David's not here, is he? I have asked him that specific question a couple of times, and. I think his answer to that is we don't know. It depends on the philanthropy and it depends on the fundraising, but the idea is that it would well, not be run by Tom Bonner. It I'm would sorry, be, I don't remember say exactly. that tongue in cheek. Well, as I recall, when Mr. Tu came to our city council, there was some expectation of funding from the cities Correct. and the counties. And I'm wondering where that's at right now before we take a vote. And that is, uh, you know what, I don't know. It will cost some money to, to actually get the architectural design. That's what I'm wondering. You know, How and, much will that cost? And, and we don't know until after Tuesday's meeting when the architects present their costs, as far as I understand. Well, we don't know what those costs well, are, do we, Mike? Who's paying the architects at this, to this point? No, nobody. No, nobody. They, they, this is their own free will that. offering? Well, they're, they're giving a pitch yeah, to they, sell they their don't services. They at, at this point. They, they'll, they'll present to get in hopes of getting the bid themselves. So they will they will come in and provide that. So the, the schematic step is the free step. Yeah, yeah it'll be it's very a free general. Step. What they're gonna be presenting next next week is fairly general. It's not gonna be all of the specifics, but it'll be an idea of what they'd like the building and the layout and the, the grounds and, and what they could envision for that no. space. Okay. Um, and then I'm, I'm also wondering, um, the private development, of course, will pay property taxes. The private development would pay the property taxes, but what about the art center itself? You know, I, I don't know all of those details, and that's where we're just in, okay. in this process here, and there's lots of other steps that we have to go through. But I, I, I'm i kind of getting this sense, you know, I mean, do we even want to waste our time by Tuesday night yes. is my question because I say yes so that's what I'm kind of it's just it's not a commitment to any money yeah it's not a commitment of any finances at this point it's just do we take it to the next step can I just want yeah, to I just want to applaud you and everyone in Midway City for considering the way Michael described this of what you've considered you know. The, the vision of this potential versus six acres of storage sheds there, I applaud you for yeah. doing something about that. <laughs> yeah. We don't need them in here. You keep them in the county. You can have all the storage So I just kind of am looking for a consensus. This is not a commitment of any kind. It's just a consensus from the, from the political bodies that are here. Do we go to the next step? So I would say continue investigating is a good word. Thank you. So. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. And those opposed? Okay. Perfect. We're going to move forward. And I, I would encourage those of you that can come next Tuesday night. It will be at the Heber City Police Department in that room. I think he's at the, just the, the... Justice Center. The political... It's just for the, just the council. The councils, yeah. What, what was the time? From 6 to 9. There will be a presentation from three different architects in, at that time. So, And then hopefully after that we'll be able to 
Gloria might be able to be able to get a, a good um, article for the for the paper or whatnot. So we can okay. present something. Motion to adjourn. No mate. Second. Uh, Heber City, you guys came late, but you're in charge next year, 2018. You're in charge of this interlocal meeting. Are you going to have another? Mayor's meeting? done. Yeah. We will have. Um, it, it will depend. This will be um, driven by needs of the needs that we have, and so. Um, Lindy, we'll do that. We plan on doing it next quarter if if we need to. Lindy, what would plan, what I'll, be I'll send a, I'll call for agenda items. Whatever, okay. I, whatever feedback I get. <coughs> okay. So okay. like the end of June, I'll send the agenda items. Okay, a request for agenda items. Okay. Motion to adjourn. We made it already. Go, let's go. Yes. Mark. What happened to the local preservation fund? They called that. I think it's the same gets up the manager. No, because they called that. Nice to meet you.